Hey everyone, welcome back. Alright, we gotta go move with yeah, words hard. We gotta move forward and talk to Sonya. That was a sentence that I could not get out for some reason. Hey, are the badge collecting going well? I've been doing some research in the ruins still on side. Now I'm but I'm not there now. The sword and shield. What kind of Pokemon were they? Um and where are they where are they now? I well I know where one of them is. There's so many questions I was thinking about. I think I'm taking another look at the at the truth passes in Kaboom. Are you, are you kidding me? What was that? Hanok Stadium shook. That's where the chairman's rose power plant is, isn't it? Huh? A power spot. You mean like where you can Dynamax? That that's right. The power spot detector reacts when it's possible to Dynamax. Uh, hey, Sonya, it's Shrift too. <laughs> you feel like that? You feel like shaking, right? Uh, seems Chairman Rose is testing something out again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? Huh. I can make sure the Chairman knows. You get you get lost, Leon. I'm going to. I'm really looking forward to seeing you complete compete in the finals. Uh, you should leave the investigation to of the quaking to the adults. Uh, head to Chesterton and get the gym badge. Oh, there's Hoplet. Oh, Schiff. There he is, waving. Why does everyone talk to me? Why can't I investigate the explosion? That sounds bad. No one seems that bothered about by it. What's up, Hop? First the forest and that mad quiz. Ugh, I've been lost ever since the ever since ever since the word. It looks like I finally caught up to you again. Ugh, come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Are we going to battle Hop again? Uh I mean, sure, but, like, why? No, Route 7. Is there any shinies on this bridge? Nope. No, no bird feathers. All right, Striff, you and I both know I've got to keep on train, keep on training, trying different strategies. If I'm gonna get strong, strong enough to catch up to Lee, no, not just if, I want to surpass him. So, I think you know what's coming, mate. Let's try out the latest in the battle against you. Alright. You've never beaten me before, Hop. Whoa, a tree ghost thing. That's a cool one. Right, time for the test to see exactly how far I can go. Alright. I mean, there shouldn't be any problem for that. Dead. <laughs> it's super effective. The way you battle reminds me of Lee. You mean he uses type advantage? <laughs> That sounds Snorlax. Ooh, I will switch Pokemon. All right, Grimsy. Whoa. Uh, he's got a Snorlax. That's pretty fucking dope. Hammer arm. Boom. Damn, that was a strong hit. Grivzy, you have you are a monster. You are a true monster. Uh heat more. Yeah, sure, we'll switch. Uh all we've got is water gun. I guess that'll do. Which one is heat more? Is that the the anteater? Yeah, okay. Um, 
Just water gun it, I guess. Probably have to do this twice. Because water gun sucks. Oh, possibly three times. Bug bite. Oh, he's bugging me. Uh, what if we rock tomb him? That'll do. Ow. Hit my hand on my desk. <laughs> Shell Bell. Well, Shell Bell was pretty good. Pretty good pick, I think, on Tortly. Oh, uh, really a bloom. What the fuck is a really a bloom? I feel like it must be. It must be fire. It must it must be like a grass type, right? It's called bloom. Oh jeez, that's huge. It's got it's, it's got its own drum set. I guess that's what. <laughs> I guess that's what Groki evolves into. Uh, discharge, yes. Um, how's electric ore but the target? The faster the user is, then the target, the greater the move. That's not very good. But discharge, discharge is good. All right, let's get rid of electro ball for discharge. That's going to be huge for Spunder. Like an actual electric move. Oh, I didn't do his... I mean, all he's got left is that bird, right? Assuming he kept the bird. Let's send Spunder out anyway, since he just got discharged. Bolted. Oh! He got an electrical dog. Man, he actually has, like, switched up his entire team pretty, pretty effectively, actually. This is interesting how he's like switching up his team quite often. I'm a little crunch. Is that the first thing that Spunder's taken out? I think it might be, you know. Ugh, this is rubbish. My team can't perform if I can't get my own head straight. Well, sorry, Hop. Just the way it goes. Before we even started out on this journey, I remember watching Lee on telly. He was a bright star, so strong, and I could hardly bear to look at him, look right at him. But now I can just tell how strong he really is, and he hasn't got that. I haven't. But I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine. Whatever. Thanks for letting me battle with you again. And here, I'll help your team for you too. Oh, thanks, Hop. I'll get the fuck out of my face. I think I know what it is, what I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion. And I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going going to have another battle once I become the gym once I get my gym badge in Chestershire. Lucky me. Can't wait, hop. Uh, I actually can't, you know. I'm actually pretty excited to see what like what Pokemon he's gonna have. Oh. Okay, let's use this one. Let's we'll use this one very often. I'm not sure we actually even want that one. If it learns... If that learns another move, something more interesting, I think we might have to bail that one, because that's a special attack, right? Where we're not special, we're actually physical. But 
I feel like this is a long way, so we may as well use up this move first. We've got like a cave and a city and two different routes to explore. But I think we're going straight to Chestershire first. Before the other town. See how if I reckon we'd use like a physical move there, we would have killed it in one hit. What a great trainer you are. Thanks. Appreciate that. Oh, there's a Galvantula there. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're going this way. <laughs> oh, there's the evolution to a uh, Kit there. What the fuck is that? No, wait, maybe we've seen one of those before. Is that the evolution to Meowth? Have you seen that before? Hmm, maybe. Alright, let's flame charge it. Let's see. Let's see, if this, let's see if this just dies. Nah. If it was evolved, it would have, because it doesn't become steel. Is there any other steel birds? Well, other than Skarmory, I mean. But there's just this guy in Skarmory, right? That's uh, quite... Skarmory is no longer unique. There's another flying steel type. And quite frankly, it's better than in, in every way. <laughs> Poor Skarmory. Well, <laughs> uh, we don't want to screech. Rufflet. Yeah, we'll switch. Let's get Splinter out. He's a bug, I know, but I want him to actually do some fighting. Oh, Rufflet's cool. Right, discharge, Rufflet. I mean, Splinter. Fantastic. Bloop to reload 541. Jeez. Bloop is getting up there. You're dead. Do we want to try and catch these things? Well, it's coming for us. I suppose so. Um, I got some quick balls. So this is steel too. This is steel as well, isn't it? That's, that's kind of cool. I guess steel did, did need some, like, did need some love, right? Not a whole lot of steel types. Oh, busted out. Uh, do you reckon this won't kill it, right? This is level 37. This won't kill it. It killed it. <laughs> Welp, it's dead now. Whoa. The cat's coming for me too. A lipard. Alright. I don't think we got this one, so let's, let's quick ball it. Oh, 41. Man, can we even catch this? No, wait. Can we? That's what I mean. I guess so. We was able to throw a ball at it. It broke out again. What the fuck? Where's the end, too? You will live this. Level 41, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, Ultra Ball. Oh, there it is. Hell yeah. Alright, Leapard has been caught. Now what is Leapard? Uh, Leapard is a dark type. Straight dark. Go to the box. 
Probably not gonna use you. Alright, I'm gonna shake the tree. Shake, shake, shake. Very fast the tree. Shake again. There's four berries on the ground. Shake again. That's enough. Um, yo! Oh, it's gone. One of those little inky boys. Oh, it's a Toxel! We wanted one of these! Okay, here we go. What is... What is Toxel? No! Oh, that's not a quick ball. Oh, we fucked this one right up, didn't we? Yeah, there we go. I was actually uh, concerned for a second there. I was like, wow. Like an immediate capture. Um, Alright, a, a flame purge will probably, pledge will probably keep it alive, right? Ooh. Holy balls. <laughs> um, now I guess we'll throw a ultra ball. <laughs> the ultra ball that was meant to be used. Nice. All right, so we got a Toxel. So we we suspected this was uh, electric poison, right? It's oh, such a cool fucking typing. Oh, I I kind of want it. I kind of want it. Uh, it has static, which is very very basic. It's a special attacker. It's level 40 and hasn't got a fucking decent electric move. It's got nuzzle of all fucking things. Mm, no. Fuck it. No. We're sticking with Splendor for now. I've made a... I've made the call. What is that? Oh, it's one of these things. Because there's so many new Pokemon on this... Uh, on this route, ones that we've not caught before, which is great for the old Pokedex. Easy, finally, one actually went through. Electric Dark. That makes sense. It is, it is just a Frankenstein fucking Pikachu, isn't it? Like, that's all it is. Now, this thing evolves from like a Nicket, so this is a Frivol. Frivol. Feevil? Probably Feevil, right? Because the first one was Nicket, and now it's a Thief. So it's a Feevil. That makes sense, right? Wait, Night Slash this. Man, you know what? That has actually taken quite the uh, quite the beating. Probably has to throw a heal on it after this. Oh, it does. <laughs> well, whatever. Oh, another one of those cats. Um, right. Let's bag and potions uh, or a moo, moo milk. There you go, Nat. Have a moo, moo milk. Delicious. Right. This thing. Let's try and catch this thing. Quick ball again. Here's hoping. Last one got a free roll and a breakout, which kind of sucked. Straight with the straight with the capture. That's nice. A Pasika. Right. Oh, it's not actually a Persian. 
I suppose that makes sense, huh? Because it's not actually a Persian. It's like, it's still a Meowth. It's just got weird horns and shit on it now. Alright, I guess that makes sense. Uh, oh, we didn't actually catch that, did we? So I guess we'll try and catch this. Oh, I saw a little mustache. I didn't see that on the last one. Is that how you tell the difference between if it's a male or a female? Uh, female? Is because it has like a, a moustache? Or did we just not see it on the first one? Alright. Yep. We know what it was. Free quick balls? Fantastic. And we're going straight into Route 7. That, that was Route 8 even. That was Route 7 in its entirety. <laughs> and now we've got like a little quartered off bit of like desert area. It's kind of weird looking. Like I realize it's like a little area in this thing. But I didn't expect it to actually just be a, like a straight up little area. Uh, well okay. Next time we'll work our way through Route 8. And get to hopefully get to Chestnut next time. Uh, thank you so much. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.